So a club resigning from a league is always something sad for that club and their community, but usually that means that the club is liquidated or is no longer going to function as a football club. Whereas this month we've had quite an interesting case. Greenwich Borough, who play in step five of the non-league pyramid, they've decided that they're going to resign from their league. They're sat bottom of the table, but they've thought, you know what, let's resign but they're not going to actually liquidate or they're not going to cease to exist as a football club. They said that a number of severe business interruptions have left the club in crisis. They officially resigned from the Southern Counties East Football League. There's a lot of ongoing legal proceedings and they're actually blaming a number of other parties for their current situation. We're going to be looking into all of what is going on at this club and why there is now a real hostility between them and one other club that they've publicly pretty much shamed. We'll look at it all in this video after this. So before we start, this video has been kindly sponsored by our channel sponsors, One Football. This app allows you to see in-match updates, pre-match prediction polls, tailored notifications for your favourite team. If you haven't downloaded it already, then the links downloaded will be in the top line of the description. So Greenwich Borough was founded in 1928, but the survival of the club was threatened back in 2009 when they were forced to sell their home stadium. This has meant they've had a few years ground sharing at Holmesdale, Dartford, and most recently with Cray Valley Paper Mills. Greenwich reportedly signed a 30 year release to allow them to share the home of Cray Valley Paper Mills, but they were evicted from the ground at the end of the 1819 season, reportedly due to not paying rent, although the club do deny this and the plot definitely thickened, and we'll go into that in a bit. Alongside being kicked out of the stadium at the end of last season, they were also relegated from the 8th tier down to the 9th tier. Though they have found a new home with Phoenix Sports in Bexley Heath, they are really struggling on the pitch once again this season and are bottom of the table. Their official statement said that due to severe business interruption, Greenwich Borough FC will not be participating in the league from today. We are not closing the business, but just withdrawing from the competition. Quite a long article was released on the Greenwich Borough website on the 18th of January. It was actually entitled No Chance to Survive. In this, they quite extensively go and call out Cray Valley Paper Mills for all of the dodgy things that they say that they have done, describing their eviction from the stadium at the end of last season as an unlawful eviction, and the club has never been able to pick up any momentum and have fought a battle behind the scenes of nothing but constant interruption. Being overcharged from the start, and to have the ground share of steel and keep property that did not belong to them. They said that Cray Valley officials already spoke with Greenwich Borough youth team surprised them over to play for them, destroying the club's revenue and reputation with the youth teams leaving. That morally is really bad and I also think in terms of how legal it is to go and effectively poach youth teams. I'm pretty sure that with the, the regulations of how football works at grassroots level, that's also not allowed. Also detailed were the circumstances that led to Cray Valley Paper Mills evicting Greenwich Borough on the last game of the 18-19 season. This game took place on the 27th of April and on the 25th they had a call from a committee member to explain that he was being hurt and that CCTV was taken out and locks had been changed. The landlord called around for cause and effect to ensure the players and supporters were deflated before even turning up to play with laminated posters designed with Greenwich Borough's equipment declaring an eviction with no court seal. They also described it as a childlike poster with no legal jargon or an eviction or bailiff notice. The talks the landlord had with management on the day to say there would be no game but no rent was due. He was calling the league secretary knowing this was an illegal act. He had no legal eviction or court documents. They also said that they would appreciate the return of all Greenwich Borough's training equipment, balls, goals, lights and stands so that they can build the club back up with the club's property. So this is all very confusing and they don't specifically say whether Cray Valley Paper Mills have evicted them, whether it is the landlord or whether the landlord is unrelated to Cray Valley Paper Mills and they both rent the ground. It's not 100% clear. But what is clear is that they feel that they should not have been kicked out of this stadium. They said that the landlord wanted to evict them even though there was no rent due despite elsewhere it being reported that there was rent due. It's all a bit of a confusing situation and it's hard to sort of get to the bottom of the root cause of everything because it's about as clear as mud. But regardless what is a shame is the fact that a club that is nearly 100 years old and serves its local community is now no longer in a league. Whether they will go and continue to play in a league next season, I'm not sure. You would have thought that, that is the case, but with them resigning from their league, it's a case of, well, where's their future? Would they just be better off just carrying on for the rest of this season, making the club go from semi-professional to fully amateur, 
paying no one, pretty much just cutting costs as much as they possibly can. They're bottom of the league ultimately, there's only about three or four months left of the season, so you might as well just try and just get through to the end of it. If you get relegated, then you get relegated. That's just what happens. And you just then go down to a lower league, which then means that you can cut your costs even further. With them saying that they're not closing the business, they're just withdrawing from the competition. That is a really bizarre thing to say without the context that really we need and the explanation as to why this is the case, because it doesn't really make a huge amount of sense at this point in time, in my opinion. Why would a club resign from a league? Because ultimately, You've got to then reapply to join another league next season if that's what they want to do, which as a football club, that is the most logical thing to do. Or do they just look to serve their local community and just run their youth teams? And again, they've said that their youth teams are being poached by Cray Valley Paper Mills. Where is the future of this club? Where are they actually going? What is the aim for them? Can they actually reapply to get into another league? Because if they resign mid-season, even leagues at lower levels probably won't be that welcoming of them because of the likelihood that they might resign again. Yeah, I'm sure we'll see some more information on this story over the next few weeks and months to really establish the reasons behind everything. But yeah, what do you think of it all? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and click subscribe as well to update with lots of different videos and information, top 10 lists, all sorts of different things from non-league football. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.